Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel and welcome if you are new. My name is Molly and I love to make cleaning motivation videos as well as inspirational homemaking videos to help you get motivated to get things done around your house and be inspired as well. As you can see, my daughter's hamper has toys in it, which is a common thing that I tend to find in her hamper almost every time I go to do a load of her laundry. <laughs> so that is what I'm doing here. I'm starting the day off by getting her laundry into the washer and starting that out. And I can't remember if I actually got to folding it later or not. <laughs> I don't remember <laughs> on this day. And I just thought that was so funny and I had to share all the little toys that were stuck in her laundry basket, which I don't know if it's her doing it or if it's my son. I'm not sure, or it's both of them just throwing random things in there. <laughs> so, but today is a day I am going to be, well today plus a couple other days, throughout this week I am getting my house prepped and ready for Christmas decorating. So I'm going to be cleaning the bathrooms and undecorating all of the fall decor around my house. So that's, those are the main things that we are tackling today and just getting everything ready and kind of a blank slate to the house so I can decorate for Christmas. So I've kind of fallen off of my routine where I am cleaning the bathrooms, like each bathroom every day, like one a day. And so on this day, I was like, I just got to get my bathroom all cleaned up at least. And then throughout the next two days, we're going to tackle the other two bathrooms in the house as well. So that way I'm pacing myself and not getting overwhelmed by doing all the bathrooms. Because I used to do it where every so often I would clean every single bathroom in the house all on the same day. And before I know it, it's like an hour to an hour and a half later that I'm finally done. <laughs> So I like the idea of cleaning one bathroom a day, if you can make that work, or even just a little bit, like just wipe the counters down one day and do the toilet a different day, mirrors on a different day. Just whatever works for you, find find out what works for you and try to stick to it. That is what I'm trying to do here. But if I wanna get the bathrooms clean, I realize that what I need to do now is just do one a day and that is it. Cause I'll slip into your dreams tonight Oh, so give me, so give me your all I'll take it, I'll take it to Mars Oh, I'll stick like glue inside your mind in case we haven't met yet, hello, my name is Molly and I am a wife to a helicopter pilot. We have been married for six years as of this past July and back in 2022, we moved our family from Utah where he was training to become a helicopter pilot to Pennsylvania for new job endeavors for him. And we have two small children, ages seven and four. Our seven-year-old is in second grade, and next year our four-year-old will be in kindergarten, so that is super exciting. And he was actually born in Utah. And our daughter was born in North Carolina because before we moved to Utah, we were in North Carolina, and that is where we met each other. <laughs> oh. I'm saying hello, I'm going into the shower, so I'm come clean it now. But yes, we met each other in North Carolina at my place of work, because he started working there as well. And one of our friends, my coworker, who I work beside every day, told me that I should uh, check him out because his dad told him that he needed to find an old fashioned girl. And as soon as she told me this, I was like, oh my gosh, that is me. Oh my. My phone just went off, sorry. But I was like, oh my gosh, that is me. That's totally me because I feel like I am quite old fashioned, mainly because I knew at a young age that I've always wanted to get married and have children, just have a family, and just live a wonderful family like life, which that is something that it just it brings joy to my heart knowing that we have created this sweet little family together. And when we first started dating, he actually told me his plans of wanting to be an EMS helicopter pilot someday. And I feel like that just spoke to me and drew me into him even more. And I just feel like that's so admirable. And that is his job now. Like he is starting that 
that dream is becoming a reality for him and I am just so, so happy for him and it's so glad that he has been able to follow his dream. I told him when he got with me that things were gonna change for him. Now that the bathroom is all clean, we are going to move on to today's sponsor. So thank you so much to Subforce for sponsoring today's video. I am so excited to work with them again. I love Subforce soap bottles. I have a bunch of them now and these are their brand new ones. I have these in the shower already, but these have a slight difference to them than the ones that I got before, but they come with all these labels for like body wash, shampoo, conditioner, and I think um, lotion and soap as well. So you can use them for different things that you have around the house. And it comes with a funnel if you need it. And it even comes with a hardware kit where you can mount these to the wall if you want. This is so awesome. I had trouble putting on the labels the last time that I had these bottles. So it literally tells you how to put them on the bottle using this so it's nice and straight. And how cool is this thing? It's like a little guide. You put it around in like this, or you fold it around, and there's like a little groove right here. So you have to put that part together inside it. And that way it kind of forms like this, like the shape of the bottle itself. And then take the top off and then put it around the bottle. And now you have this perfect little guide to help you get the label on as straight as possible. You might still have some trouble doing it. I still had a little bit of trouble on the first label. I had to redo it a couple of times and then I had to do another one a couple of times as well. But Anyways, they all turned out to be basically the same, like the same all around. Like they all look uniformed and they're all like in a straight line. <laughs> so that that is so cool. So now I'm going to fill my bottles up with my conditioner, shampoo and body wash. And then I'm gonna put them in my shower and they look so much better in my shower than just, you know, the normal product bottles that you normally see. It feels so nice. And oh yeah, you can see through the bottles so you know how much you have. And they are waterproof, super awesome. Well, I highly recommend these bottles. I love them so much and they would make a great Christmas gift if you are looking for a last minute idea or something like that. If you are interested in these bottles, I will have them linked down below for you. And once again, thank you so much to Subforce for sponsoring today's video. Okay guys, we are moving on to day two and bathroom number two, which is the kids' bathroom. And my daughter just loves to play with all of these little teeny tiny things and make, she calls them like little fish tanks, her own fish tanks or whatever. And, oh, and I happened to find a top to my like cooking pots and pans in the bathroom, which actually I knew it was there because my son was playing with it for a little while there. And I just let him play with those sometimes. He likes to think that they are Roombas because <laughs> he is obsessed with Roombas <laughs> ever since we got one last year. And last Halloween, I even had to make him a Roomba costume because that's what he wanted to be for Halloween. So I'll have to see if I can insert a clip here or a a photo of him in his little Roomba costume. It was so adorable. So, but I decided I'm just going to get rid of these little tiny things. There's just too many of them. And we have more <laughs> around her room. And just, I need to get rid of mine. And I told her after she found out that I threw them away that we have to make room for like Christmas things because Christmas is right around the corner. And I know that she is wanting to ask Santa for things and all that. So we, we need to clear out things to make room for the new, is what I've told her in decluttering. And declutter is what we need to do more of around our house so bad. <laughs> So 
So I have this towel here to catch water when the kids are in the shower or bath because they tend to splash a bunch of water out. <laughs> do anybody else's kids do that? And I heard from one of my friends here on YouTube, Morgan from Seaside Lane Channel, she actually has some kind of sensor thing that if too much water splashes out and about, that uh, like a alarm will go off or something. I'm like, oh my gosh, I need that, which I totally forgot about until I'm doing this voiceover. <laughs> so I need to go and check that out because that would be perfect because there has been lots of times where the kids have gotten way too much water out on the floor and we've had some issues with it leaking onto the ceiling. So yeah, no fun. <laughs> So I don't know if you noticed, but you can still see the snowflake stickers that I put on the mirror last year for Christmas. I just never really took them off. I tried to a couple of times and they just got kind of stuck. I was like, I'll just leave them there and they'll be here for the next Christmas, which is coming right now. So I decided to just leave them there and celebrate the snow on the mirrors like all year long, <laughs> which I think the kids like them anyway, so that's fine. And I happen to find this stuff, like a couple of spots on the floor, and I'm all out of my Swiffer wet things. So after I sweep, I am going to try and clean up with some of my multi-purpose cleaner and kind of scrub a couple of spots here on the floor. And then after that, we are gonna move on to the next bathroom, which will be on day three which is the half bathroom. And I feel like that tends to be the most cleanest bathroom most of the time, unless the kids have done crafting and painting and then get paint everywhere, which is what happened after I cleaned the, sec the last bathroom. There was just paint and paint and paint like over the next few days in a row. <laughs> So you can totally see a little bit, there's a tiny bit of a snowflake up there on this mirror too because I did remove a couple of them but there's little spots on there so I need to take care of those with maybe some lemon essential oils. I keep hearing about that where you can remove adhesive from that. So, but we're just gonna continue cleaning this bathroom and then we're gonna start undecorating all of the fun, all the fall, <laughs> the fun fall decorations. So I tend to keep the cat's food on top of this toilet. I know I don't like having to do that, but because of my dog liking to get into their food, that is what ends up happening is this seems to be the only place where I can put it and she's not going to get into their food. <laughs> So, uh, I just sometimes I feed their, I feed them with the door closed at night because I give them the wet food at night, and then at times I will go in the basement and feed baby Ziggs, who is my newest cat. Got him last year from my husband as an early birthday present last year. About almost a year, it was just a year ago in October that we got him as a tiny baby kitten, 
and I still call him Baby Ziggs, but I do have to feed him downstairs in the basement at times because midnight our older cat will go after his food. <laughs> it was like everybody's going after each other's food <laughs> all the time. Are moving on to the last thing for this video which is undecorating all of the fall decorations that I put up so if you want to see the fall clean and decorate video I will have that linked here in the cards and down below for you if you want to check that out it was so fun to make I love how that video turned out one of my favorite videos I think that I have made and for some reason fall this year was just so beautiful it was like extra gorgeous colors and so vibrant with the reds and the oranges and I just loved the fall season this year and for some reason coming into like the Christmas season I just don't feel as like excited about it which is weird maybe it's because fall was so pretty and so beautiful and I haven't remembered I don't remember the last time 100% like when fall was just so gorgeous like that um, it may have been back in 20, no, 2009 when I drove up to Gatlinburg Pigeon Forge area. Oh, sorry. I hit the microphone on you guys. The Gatlinburg and Pigeon Forge, Tennessee area when I was in college to watch my friend, uh, get married up there. It was so beautiful driving in October and all the fall colors, just so gorgeous and beautiful. So... But I know that this winter season is going to be pretty. They're calling for a lot of snow this year. So we'll see if that happens. We haven't gotten any snow yet here in Pennsylvania. But it has been cold enough to snow, I will say. So on these days, though, it happened to be a little bit warmer when I was filming this video. Or I like to keep it a little bit warmer in the house in, in the cold months. <laughs> Anyways. So but I'm just going to take all of these cutesy little fall decorations down off of the entryway table and that little window. And I kind of had a little helper here with me, <laughs> kind of, sort of, or he was just interested in what I was doing and he was still in his pajamas <laughs> on this day. So, so sweet. Be one of the things I love. We don't have to move so fast, baby, I will show you how you can catch my vibe. And right away I so much time looping in the blurry lights. Get in my way now, don't be shy. After all of the fall stuff was taken down, I just put a few things back here, back up here on the entryway table, and I was trying to figure out what to do with this vase, and I was like, it just looks so sad right now. <laughs> but don't worry, it is going to be full of fun Christmas flowers here very soon. So in my fall clean and decorate video, I put this caramel popcorn 
in this cute little vase here, or this little dish here and I had no idea that this was gonna happen. It is literally stuck inside of there. So you're gonna see me, I'm gonna try and chop it up with a spoon to see if it'll break it up. And I almost like ruined my spoon because it was about to bend backwards. <laughs> so, so I got the idea to fill it up with water and just let it sit for a little bit and come back to it. And that seems to, that seemed to do the trick. So you'll see here in just a minute where I come back and now that the water has soaked into everything, it's made it more pliable and easy to get out. So I'm gonna pour out all the water and then throw it out and clean that dish. But I must try to feel it out alone. Yeah, I must try to feel it out alone. That is the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and it gave you some motivation to prep your house, get ready for Christmas if you need to do some cleaning and getting ready. And thank you again to Supforce for sponsoring today's video. Don't forget to check the link down to check the link down in the description box if you are interested in those bottles. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye. Let's try.